Hello, it's Bricktopian here and this is an unboxing video for the Lego Creator Expert Gingerbread House. <clears throat> it is a 12 plus set, it is number 10267 and it has 1477 pieces. It is a Christmas set from the Winter Village sub theme of Creator Expert. It includes a light brick and the set is 22 centimeters wide by 21 centimeters high. It comes with two minifigures, a male gingerbread man and a female gingerbread. It has a baby one that is on a 1x2 tile and it is um comes with a buildable pram inside it that you that no you can put it inside and also comes with some toys including a train build and some presents and a rocking horse. Comes with a buildable Christmas tree too, using some of these unusual shield um, um, plasma -y pieces. <clears throat> um, the light brick is used to light up the chimney and fireplace, which is pretty cool. It uses some of these sparkly one by one bricks as well in purple and pink, which is awesome. And the whole design is based on an actual gingerbread house, architecturally wise, and um, yeah. And also it's got um, a green door and it has um, the roof set are built using um, hinged plates underneath to attach. And it's got a uh, ice cream um, piece at the top used to represent smoke on the build. So this is the front of the box. It even has a snow blower which is pretty cool. And then at the top it shows yeah all of the parts included plus the female gingerbread made thick of a scale. And on the back of the box, it shows one of the the a buildable bath and toilet that it shows can fit a minifigure inside the bath. It shows a cot for the baby and a little bottle. It shows the rocking horse. It shows the kitchen, which has a little drawer that's got um co cookies as the handles. It's got a little saucepan. It's got a little kitchen sink. Over here, it shows the fireplace from the inside with a little um, plate with a cookie on, little stockings, and a little um, picture on the wall, which is a sticker of the family, and some candles either side. And then you've got the um, front door here and the home sweet home welcome mat. And then you've got the little pram again, and you've got a little table that they can sit at, which is drinking some coffee or some hot chocolate. And over here, it shows how the light brick works from the outside of the build and then the inside. There is the set on the back, as it is a facade building, it shows the interior quite well. And the little rocking horse at the bottom, and then the tree with all the other presents. And then, so yeah, that's, let's show you, oh, and then it's got another picture of the set there. And it's got the minifigures and the sub side builds again there. Anyway, let's show you the inside of the box. Inside the box, it has a few different numbered bags. There's number two, that's number four, that's number two as well, number five, number three, number four again, and then number five again, number three again, number one, and another number one, and then you also get this individual um, 16 by 16 white plate which is not in a bag and then you get the instruction booklets which you get two of them one i believe is for the uh, tree and the small present builds and then the other one is for the actual house but i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's how it works so in total in this set you get five different numbered bags it goes up to number five and each one of the bags one to five comes with two individual bags so meaning there's 10 bags in total. You get three stickers in this set, one for the Candy Lane um, street sign that is outside on, on the candy canes. Then you get Home Sweet Home doormats, which is down by the door. And then you've got the picture frame, which is on the inside of the house um, above the fireplace. Anyway, that's the outs. That's to show you the instruction booklets inside. So here's the two instruction booklets. Here's the here's this and here's the stickers. You got the I love the sticker of the picture of the fan, I think that's good. And then the little booklet shows that you do yeah the tree. The tree is the first thing you make. And then you got the snow blower and you've got um I think
think the uh, the little baby's pram as well, and then the little train. And you got the presents, and the rocking horse. So yeah, this is all the side builds in the first one. I would have preferred it if you do. I would I would probably do the bag book two maybe first because the side builds I feel like are not as interesting to me. And as it's not Christmas at the moment, I don't really want to build the Christmas tree first. I'd probably leave that till the end, really. And uh, I've built the set before, actually, with my girlfriend. So I know that um, this, the first step, the first booklet that has all the little side builds isn't that interesting compared to the main house. So that's why this time around I might build back book two first. Shows you using these white plates. That shows you the different bags. So bag one is just all the little side bills and then two to five is all the actual house. It's quite a cool it's a cool looking set, I do love it. And it's I like how it's gonna look the story nine because I like how it uses the white plates again. And I think that'll look good. And I'm gonna hopefully I can make a um hopefully I can make a um some sort of mountain like mock or something that can um go underneath the story nine and raise that set up above uh, up above in the back background like behind here and then have this set in front on the ground so it looks like that it's like two tiered going up behind and it has like a mountain that you can like climb up to get to the story nine up here like in the distance so it makes a whole snow scene with the two sets combined and um, I want to try and maybe have some little steps going up to the top level like, or maybe some rope that you climb up or something to get up the mountain would look quite cool I thought and I could maybe even get a rock climber or, or mountaineer minifig or something and make that have, have that to look like it's climbing that would be quite cool so there's the finished set anyway and then here's the parts in the set more clearly than that was shown on the box and in the back of the box advertises the crater expert set the uh, corner garage which i don't own it's a set i fought that game before but i'm not sure if i would i probably wouldn't at this point but yeah it's cool to advertise so yeah anyway that's the instruction booklets there's not a lot else i can really say about this unboxing so that's that's the unboxing for the Lego Creator Expert Gingerbread House. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and if you want to see more unboxings or other videos feel free to subscribe or like my channel. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.